for keeping the tradition going. That's the secret. Huh? Krishna gives knowledge according to need to know. So if you take responsibility, then you have a need to know. If you don't accept that responsibility, you don't have any need to know beyond your own personal salvation. See? So when you actually uh, take responsibility for passing on this great teaching, then you also will become empowered by Lord Nityananda. You will also understand what Nityananda really means, huh? this eternal bliss, and you will get empowered to pass on this teaching to others. That's the secret. So without serving Lord Nityananda, no one can actually understand Lord Chaitanya. And without understanding Lord Chaitanya, nobody can approach Krishna. That's the way it is. And we see this, in fact, in India, for example, there are many different teachers who claim to know Lord Krishna. But we see they don't have any devotion for Lord Chaitanya or Lord Nityananda. How is this possible? Lord Chaitanya is Krishna himself. All the scriptures say this. In fact, there was just a very nice post on our forum the other day from Sean, quoting all the Vedic scriptures predicting the appearance of Lord Chaitanya. And all the Vedic scriptures agree that he is Krishna himself. So if you know Krishna, then you would also know Lord Chaitanya. Hmm? If you recognize Krishna as the Supreme, then you would also recognize Lord Chaitanya as the Supreme because he's the same person. Huh? If, you know, like the other day was Halloween. You know? So if you know me, and then I put on some silly Halloween costume, huh? I'm still the same person. And you would recognize me if you really knew me, whether I had a costume on or not. Somehow I would give it away. Huh? And you'd recognize so similarly, when Lord Chaitanya appeared in Navadvi, all the advanced devotees there immediately recognized him. Oh, this is Krishna. Huh? Get her something to drink. Huh? That these bodily features, these spiritual qualities, these potencies uh, displayed by this child are the same exact symptoms that were displayed by baby Krishna when he appeared 5,000 years ago. Uh, so whether Krishna appears as Krishna or Rama or Chaitanya or in any form that he might appear, then everyone who knows him can recognize him. So if someone claims to be a guru or a spiritual teacher and they claim to know Krishna, but they don't recognize Lord Chaitanya, then how can they be accepted as bona fide? Huh? Then if someone accepts Lord Chaitanya, but they don't accept Lord Nityananda, similarly, they can't be the real thing. Huh? Because Lord Nityananda is the original guru. So if you know guru, then you would recognize the principle of guru in Lord Nityananda. Because guru is one. Whether Guru appears in this form or that form or any form, huh? that same Guru principle, that same energy of Guru is there. So if you recognize Guru, if you know what is Guru, then whenever you see a manifestation of Guru, no matter in which form, then you would recognize. Oh, this is that same personality, this is that same energy, that same principle. Huh? That's the science of spiritual life. That is the actual Vedic science. That if we know what is God, what is Guru, what is truth, then whenever we encounter God or Guru or truth, we can recognize them. Huh? We can see them. We know who they are. They're familiar to us. They're real to us. So even though they may put on a little different costume, huh? a little different form or appearance, we still recognize them as who they are. Those who are not self-realized, they cannot recognize. Huh? Because if you know, what does it say? It takes one to know one. Right? 
So <laughs> if you're self-realized, if you have the actual truth, then you see someone else who has that truth, you can say, oh, yes, he knows too. See? So if you don't have that truth, then you may see someone who has it and completely miss. Uh, like there were so many who came and tried to join Srila Prabhupada's movement and then they left again. Uh, or they forgot. Or they rejected even. Uh, you know, personally I can't imagine anyone rejecting Srila Prabhupada, but it happened. Uh, that means they could not recognize Guru. Or uh, some of his so-called leading disciples, they tried to usurp Srila Prabhupada's position. Uh, they tried to counteract his instructions. They tried to take over his organization. And they just wound up destroying everything. Uh, because they didn't understand that Srila Prabhupada is guru, that means he's carrying that same potency of Lord Nityananda. See? He's empowered. How could Srila Prabhupada spread this Krishna consciousness all over the world without being empowered by God? Therefore, uh, some of his contemporaries who understood these things, they recognized that Srila Prabhupada is Shaktavesh avatar. And Guru is a kind of avatar in the sense that he's empowered by the Lord to perform this function of carrying on the teaching presenting the teaching as it is, without changing anything. Huh? So we should understand, what is Guru? Guru means he who is empowered to distribute the science of Vedic uh, transcendental knowledge without changing anything. So when we see the activities of Guru, the activities of Guru are he's teaching from the Vedic scriptures in such a way that other people also realize the same thing. And if we see that, then we know, oh, this is Guru. Uh, or we get a blessing to understand that this is Guru. So I've described a little bit about Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. And now, are, is anybody logged in besides Neville? Yeah, it's Peter, Swati, Laura, Neville, and Johannes. Oh, good, good. Mm. Everyone, they figured it out, huh? More or less, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, open up for questions. Then. Lord Nityananda would be the original freak of the chariot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he freaked everybody out. <laughs> because in those days especially, things were very formal. A sannyasi was expected to act in a certain way. A brahmana was expected to act in a certain way. <clears throat> so Lord Nityananda, although he was a renunciant, he wasn't a typical sannyasi. In fact, when he was traveling, um, he, he broke his sannyas danda into pieces and threw it in the river. Mm -hmm. uh, and that signified, he also broke Lord Chaitanya's danda yeah. uh, and threw it in the river. Everybody was asking, why did you do that? He's saying, Lord Chaitanya doesn't need a danda. Uh, in other words, we don't require these formal principles of Vedic religion because we're not on the platform of Karma Kanda. We're on the platform of Upasana Kanda, of direct realization of the Absolute Truth. Okay? In direct realization, you don't need any external formalities because it's all about consciousness. Huh? We've talked about this again and again and again. The external formalities are there to reform us if we're in a fallen state. But once we're not in a fallen state anymore, the external things become redundant. It's just like if you have a disease, you have to take medicine to correct it. But once the disease is finished, you don't need any more medicine. You're healthy. So you stop taking the medicine. And then you can engage in the activities of a healthy person. See. So in material consciousness, all our activities are diseased. We have to take the medicine of the regulative principles in the holy name, the process of devotional service. But once we become healthy, we don't need all those formal procedures anymore. Simply our spontaneous love for the Lord will move us to perform so many spiritual activities, actually constantly. 
constant spiritual activities without any need for external rules, regulations, or so on. A question from Laura. Ah. I think she was asking in between, you were saying when Jogaima died, so she's saying, but can you beg forgiveness of Guru every day until it is given, even if it takes the rest of your life? But that's the point. Guru always gives forgiveness. Guru is never, never holding a grudge on anybody. <clears throat> uh, Srila Prabhupada gave chance after chance after chance after chance to his fallen disciples. Because if he doesn't give, then who will give? They will be lost forever. Yeah. See? So Guru gives forgiveness.